trust. Do you trust the government? I was not part of that decision-making process. I can't possibly know the basis right. on which that decision was taken. I don't recall the time that was saved. It's impossible for me to answer that question. I'm afraid I can't recall that, and I don't recall that either. I was not involved in the decision-making. I can't answer your question. I can't recall that number, I'm afraid. I can't answer that question because I wasn't there. I'm afraid I can't recall. I'm afraid I can't recall that either. That was a decision I was not party to. I don't know. I'm afraid I don't know that either. Trust. Do you trust the government? about the small people and we care about the small people now i've just come back again from getting another film and, and more details from the uh, detention camp that's being built out at rabina on the gold coast australia i took with me a friend of mine who is a member of parliament a member of the queensland uh, parliament uh, dr alexander uh, douglas and we both went out there together and I'm going to show you a report where as we walked around this complex and we made certain comments concerning it and he agreed with me that it's not only so bizarre uh, and the evil sinister scheme that must be behind it and he's uh, vouched to try and get behind who is the uh, uh, instruction where the instructions came from to build it and um, there's one thing I will say about uh, Dr. Alexander Douglas. He is an honest man, and he is a man that is caring about his constituents on the Gold Coast. And he is one man that will try and do whatever he can to look after the people and give them the truth that is not coming out of the government and is not being printed by the media. So let's have a look at this report with him. Uh, a four millimeter um, steel expanded mesh. You can see through it, right? Now that is prison standard mesh all along. Now have a look inside there. There's nothing. It's empty. It's empty. There's the train coming in from Brisbane. Now let's go and have a further look here. That double-spanded razor wire is pointing in, not out. Don't worry about people hoons climbing over that to put graffiti on trains. That's to stop people from getting out. That's to stop people from getting out. What do you think of that? When did this go? Well, they've done it so cleverly that it's that it has escape the true identity. Come around here. One train line comes into that compound. The rail splits into two. Comes to a dead end. There's a camera there. Look, I'll put the camera on that. There's a camera there. N notice, where's it pointing to? Pointing to the perimeter. What do you want to look at the perimeter for? In case it stops there comes to an end. Now when you look up there, there's another camera. Look, painting, pointing down, pointing down to the perimeter. Okay? You don't think that's for stabling the train? Okay, for stabling, that's what they said, it was for stabling. Let's have a look. Stabling is over here. There's one more thing. Come here. All down that perimeter between that yard and that yard, which is for stabling, can you see the wire going down the middle? Look. Totally sealed. What do you think of that? I'd all right, come on, cameras again, pointing down there and pointing up there along that perimeter. There's a train coming in now from Brisbane. Now come up here. Now I, it's better to show you this part from the aerial shot. But there is the stabling yard for five normal security at the end of it there of the stabling yard which is the ordinary barbed wire, all right? And again, there's, there's the 
there's a stabling yard. Can you see it? You can see it can carry how many trains? That's sealed off there so that the uh, security will stop people from getting in there. No. Over here, is that sealed off? Behind? It is, isn't it? Now, over here where the prison compound is, can you see the, the one railway line going in? Yep. yep. And then you see they slide a big steel gate there with razor wire on the top. Yep. There you can see it. Now, is that normal security to look after railway property? No, of course it's not. And anybody that tries to tell you that it is, is a pack of lies coming out of the New World Order, out of United Nations. For detaining people. Pretty obvious. What do you think? Now it's got big floodlights all around it. Well, that might be in that uh, block there, that shed there. You see the perimeter going between the two sections. There's the section there for sabling. There's the section over there for the prison compound. And there is the perimeter with the uh, razor wire all the way down. Divided, set apart, especially for detaining people against their will. Mum, dad, kids. Is a train going to prison? Come on. Well, there you have a little bit of a report that we did there with uh, Dr. Alexander Douglas of the Queensland Parliament. And I'm sure that you will see that he will stand up for what is right. And he will come out and he will do his best endeavours to find out who gave the instructions to build these detention camps in Australia. And he'll certainly, he saw there, he'll certainly want to know why there is detention camps being built to detain mums, dads and, ch and children, we're talking about detained Australian people. We already know there's 850 such camps have been built over in the USA and they can hold up to 40 million people. And we know that uh, there will be uh, forced vaccination of people. Those who refuse to take the vaccination will be put into detention camps until they capitulate to the vaccination. We know that there will be a lot of civil unrest when the United Nations takes over. We know that will happen here in Australia. And you can see that these detention camps are set up ready to take detainees when the civil unrest starts. How un-American could the government get if it ever forced this upon us?